I'll just uh, press firmly on the door handle. Oh, and it, it. You can touch it. It's kind of cool. Just take a couple of fingers and press very firmly right there. And it should, there you go. What? The, the, the la door latch, everything is electric. Wow. 17 inch screen in the center there. Yeah, I see that. Mm -hmm. It's got a web browser too. They're, uh, one of their business partners is Google. So it's got uh, a, a, a. Oh, you gotta touch it to go back in? Oh, it'll go back in and by itself after about a minute. Oh, yeah? If I get in the car and I put it in drive and I start moving, they'll, they'll go in. But oh, okay. After about a minute, they retract. There's a little LED light that you can't really see in, in the daytime, and it, it's in here, and it, it shows you where this is, and it also shines down in here. Hello. So there's a couple per. per so, yeah, when you seat. unlock it, it lights up all the way around the whole car. So it won't, Man, it won't close you? your hand in there. Before. No, I've had it I'm in there. Saying. I've had it in there, too. <laughs> and it just kind of goes limp. You know, it does. It. Oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> it closes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, yeah, there was, a, there was a concern about that. <laughs> I don't want to lose my fingers, right, you know. But I'm saying, if a burglar tries to steal your car. You oh, yeah, yeah. Get it, get trap get his, his hand. hand. Get his hand. Yeah, well, they're not going to go very far. Right. The thing about it is, is uh, I, I can see where the car is at all times. Right. On like on the internet, I'm, I'm waiting to see this thing retract because I, I you stick your fingers in there and I can catch it, and it just sort of goes oh, see see, oh, see? Oh, yeah. it just goes yeah. limp, yeah, yeah. and then when I let go, it just springs oh. in. See nobody. Navigate to four thousand three hundred and seventy one Parliament Place, Landover, Maryland. See that. 4,371 Parliament Place, and then we'll do Navigate. And now I've got the turn-by-turn -turn up here next to the speedometer, and I got this over here as well. And you can scroll through here. It's not that far away, so there's only a couple of turns. It shows the way the car is facing. This map always faces north. It's the, the arrow of the car that changes direction. So we're facing west, which is correct. All right, you ready? Here we go. I should turn on the uh, the uh, volume turn by turn navigation. You can mute that. You can turn that on. I'm supposed to turn right. I hope. Left up here. In point one miles, turn left onto Annapolis Road. Now turn left onto Annapolis Road. The other cars I own, you can't hear the turn signals and you can hardly see the uh, indicator. This indicator comes up on the screen when you're in a turn, but then when you're done with the turn, it disappears. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't obstruct anything once you're done with your turn. And I like the volume of it. It's just perfect, I think, as far as being able to tell whether the turn signal is on or not. And there's always big comments about when people first drive the car, they keep hitting the cruise control, which is up where most cars have their turn signals. The turn signal in this car is down low. And uh, it's because it comes from uh, Daimler, and Daimler puts their uh, turn signals where your hand should be on the wheel down low. And I, at uh, when I first started driving the car, when I took the test drive, I kind of fumbled around with it. But now that I've gotten used to it, I, I actually prefer it. And I, I hope, even though a lot of people fumble around with it, I hope Tesla doesn't change that and move it up because it works really well down there. In one mile, turn left onto Parliament Place. Then you will reach your destination. One mile. Next intersection. So I'm looking for Parliament Parliament Place. 
Forbes and a red light. Might want to stop. Especially with a police officer at the intersection. Might be a good idea. In 0.2 miles, turn left onto Parliament Place. Then you will reach your destination. Just out of habit, I keep the um, foot on the brake, but a lot of these level intersections, I probably don't have to. Is this the turn? 300 feet. Parliament Place. Now turn left. Do what the lady says. Place. See how well I follow directions. Oh, this is close. It's a good location. In 300 feet, you will reach your destination. Your destination, 4371 Parliament Place, is on the left. You have reached your destination. Solar panel. Wow. Big array. Oh, look, somebody's here. Another Tesla. <laughs> That's a popular joint. So I got a back in. I prefer to back in because with this camera is so good, I can tell exactly where the curb is and stop before I back over the top of it. If you pull in on the front, you might the the, the car is low enough that you might you know scrape the underside of the front of the nose. So I find myself backing in a lot now. All right, I have another thing that I, I do that um, um, a, a, another Tesla driver uh, talked about via email list. He said that he created another profile where, and he called it park. And it puts the seat all the way back, puts the steering wheel all the way forward, and then all the way up. So that it gives you the maximum um, clearance to get out of the car. Because I've noticed and then compared to the other cars I've owned and driven, the steering wheel in this car is larger than you would expect for a car with power steering. So it, you don't have as much clearance if you have a little bit of a tummy. 